Slack is not just a collaboration tool. It helps us stay up to date, whether it is project or knowledge. The other way of staying up to date is checking what is latest in the news. Hello everyone and welcome to what's in the news this month. We'll first see the platform news and then we'll see some of the great events that have happened and some of the events that are going to happen. We'll check what our trailblazers are doing these days and how they are helping other trailblazers to achieve success. Finally, we'll do a quick round of news items. Do you work on Heroku? Or do you want to get started with Heroku? Then you should check this showcase. Heroku Showcase is a collection of videos that cover various aspects of Heroku. Each video demonstrates a task, feature or architectural aspect. The first three videos cover various deployment methods. The first video covers the deployment using Git. You can also learn how to automate the deployments using GitHub. And not only that, you can learn how to enable the Heroku buttons to ease the deployments. In the second video, you can learn how to deploy using Heroku pipelines. This video shows how to deploy the Docker images to Heroku. This video teaches you how to customize your Heroku app configuration for your development, staging and production environments. You can also learn how to use configwares when you provide the add-ons and run the app locally. This getting started video lets you understand the fundamentals of the Heroku CLI. Also, don't forget to check out the Heroku documentation for more information. What if someone does the research, collates the best content of a feature or a concept and delivers it in easily understandable format? It will be nice, right? One such place where you can find the best content is developer blogs. Let's check what's new in the developer blogs. In this blog post, Casey Smith shows how you can use Pardot and Postman together to test easily and explore all that version 5 of the Pardot API has to offer. It covers how to get started with the Postman, how to import and configure Pardot API collection. And then it shows how to make a request to the Pardot API. Here you can see a sample request and response. This blog post is about how developers can implement more advanced automation for high velocity sales, a sales cloud solution. In this blog post, Alba Rivas has nicely explained what a sales cadence is, how it is implemented under the hood, and how you can automate it without writing the code. She also showed how you could implement the advanced automation leveraging REST API and writing code in Apex. It also covers how you can respond to specific changes using change data capture. You can also find all the examples in this blog in a dedicated GitHub repository. Philip has summarized one of his sessions on mastering Apex collections here in this blog. It starts with the basics of objects. It gives an overview of collection types. And finally, it covers quicks and advanced concepts like iterating the collections, their advantages, sorting lists using a comparator interface, and much more. How many of you like Pocket Guide? That too if it is for integrations and APIs. I hope many of you might be looking for it, just like me. Check this pocket guide for Salesforce APIs and integration capabilities. This pocket guide was created on medium.com by Dave Norris, a developer advocate. The Salesforce platform is a connected ecosystem like a jigsaw puzzle as illustrated in this picture. While each of these pieces can run independently, they are also designed to fit together. Understanding the APIs and capabilities of each of these pieces will help create rich integrations. APIs are the endpoints to interact with your data and metadata. And capabilities are services that abstract users and developers from the underlying APIs. Let's see what is all covered in this pocket guide. You can find Slack APIs and their integration capabilities. 
You can find a short description of each of these APIs. Similarly, you can find Lighting Platform APIs and its capabilities. You can also check Marketing Cloud APIs and capabilities. You can also check B2C, Commerce Cloud, Tableau, Heroku and MuleSoft APIs and their capabilities. Let's now look into some event news. Did you miss Dreamforce? Do you want to replay the Dreamforce experience? Then check these Dreamforce sessions on Salesforce Plus. You can now check the Dreamforce sessions on Salesforce Plus. You can watch the main show. You can see the Dreamforce filtered by role. You can check for sales, service, marketers, commerce, IT, administrators, developers, architects and partners. You can also check Dreamforce by topic. Best of Dreamforce, Slack, Customer360 and more. It's now time for community focus. Just like piecemeal, bite-sized content is easy to digest. Today, we have a special guest in our community focus who shares the Salesforce facts in bite-sized blogs. Yes, I'm talking about Salesforce facts by Abhishek. Abhishek Saha is a 6x certified Salesforce developer and a 13x ranger. He is a powerhouse of enthusiasm and shares a Salesforce fact every day in the form of blogs. His blogs are unique where you can find bite-sized content with examples and illustrations. Let's check one of them. You can see a description and an example. It says we should use proper parenthesis in SOCL whenever we are using N and OR operators together. It also shows the error in the query editor in the screenshot. You can check all of the content shared by Abhishek so far in this archive. Now let's hear from Abhishek about his motivation and how he is helping other trailblazers. Hi everyone, Abhishek here. Uh, so today I will be talking about my blog Salesforce Facts. So I started my blogging journey sometime around February this year. And I am the owner of my blog and uh, I am only maintaining it uh, uh, daily. So I got the inspiration to create my own blog from my fellow trailblazers who are creating such awesome content on various topics in Salesforce. And at the same time, I would like to thank Mr. Dhanik Sahani uh, especially because he is the one who encouraged me to create my own blog. So as part of this blog, I try to explore and uh, play with some unique stuff on Salesforce and uh, I add it to my content so that everyone can get to know something new every day. Uh, and I would also like to thank my uh, followers and readers because their suggestions, their appreciations and their uh, feedbacks. Uh, those like uh, keeps me motivated uh, and encourage me to create more and more awesome content. So my goal is to create more and more uh, content on Salesforce uh, so that I can help every individual in our Salesforce ecosystem. And at the same time, I would like to know more and more about Salesforce so that I can enrich my knowledge in Salesforce. Thank you. Thank you, Abhishek. We'll be looking for more such easy to digest content. Let's wrap with a quick round of news items. Your opinion matters a lot to us. The latest Salesforce developer survey is now open. Please share your thoughts and experience to help us improve your developer experience. Developer podcasts have now completed more than 100 episodes. Find Josh Berg catching up with the industry experts in exciting conversations. If you haven't yet, check out these new Trailhead modules. If you are new to SLDS or want to understand SLDS best practices, check out Lighting Design System Development for Designers module. Do you want to learn how to set up your Salesforce mobile developer tools for LWC? Then go through this module. You can learn to use tools to migrate Omni Studio data packs and Salesforce metadata between environments through this module. Now we have two new modules for you to understand Salesforce functions. That's all in today's news. Keep trailblazing.